<laughs> we got these here. They're so soft. Yeah. And they don't care. They're so sleepy. They are sleepy. Hey. We got a sakura palm cake here, pancake, sakura pancake earlier. I'm gonna share this and try it. Seems there's a white bean paste um, in between. Yeah, I'm gonna try this 
probably in Akihabara when we arrived there. This is where we were. It's in Harajuku. They have two of this uh, cat cafe matcha. It's here, like at the entrance of Takeshita Dori, and one at the crossing and close to the Meiji Shrine. So uh, that was my first time here at this point. We're in Akihabara and now we're just going around. Yeah. Why is it always so windy when I'm here? We just walked to the sixth floor. Seven. Seven. getting dark in Akihabara in Japan <laughs> yeah in Japan but uh, yeah we're just looking around I'm actually I don't really buy things in Akihabara so. Look what we found, Sakura Kit Kat roasted soybean. Okay, now you know if you want uh, special Kit Kat flavors, um, you can go to Don Quixote in Shibuya. There's a one in Shibuya too, so you can go there. But they're quite expensive, so if you have money, you can buy those. Look what I found. Sakura soy milk and white peach. I have to get my friend, she's running away. I'm getting the sakura soy milk and the peach soy milk because I want to try it. I found something interesting. Mochi shukupai. I like mochi. But it's expensive. We just wanted to look, but we are kind of stocking up on snacks now. I got quite some snacks. I think I'm going to uh, make a video with this snack video. I don't know when I'm going to 
um, film the snack video yet because I'm meeting with her every day and we're coming home very late so I might do it next month or so there won't be a snack video then <laughs> I won't eat them all uh-huh I won't she will no she wants to no yes okay yeah <laughs> we're going to look for the croissant taiyaki that I had in one of my Akihabara videos because they were so good so we're going to eat them together now in the end we decided to get taiyaki and takoyaki like uh, dinner and dessert so I got the uh, taiyaki with custard cream no that's a lie oh no that's a lie <laughs> yeah I got the enko uh, the bean paste, <laughs> the red bean paste one, because they didn't have uh, the custard cream anymore. And she, she did, uh, she got the chocolate. We both got the uh, normal takoyaki. It tastes good. I already had mine half away. really smooth and soft. It tastes really good. And it was 500 something yen. 580. 580. You got eight of these takoyakis. This is your first yes. taiyaki in Japan. It's actually a chocolate taiyaki, right? Yeah. It's like a chocolate croissant. It's very crunchy. I like the chocolate. I like the texture. Yep. Try. I tried it already. Uh -huh. I thought you watched my videos. I do. I still think that the custard cream is my favorite. Yeah. It's good, but I still I always prefer custard cream over Anko. So we decided to call it um, a night because it's really cold today and we're really tired still from yesterday. So we're um, going home a little bit earlier than yesterday. I came home at midnight yesterday, so it was really late. And I woke up at 8 today. So we are just gonna rest and then we are going to continue this tomorrow. Okay, I'm home. Yesterday I came back at midnight and so today we decided to go home earlier even though um, right now it's already 10. So we're, we're quite tired today. I don't know. Okay, I'm always tired but she was up like 24 hours because of the flight. Yeah, we thought we should rest, otherwise we would be even more tired tomorrow. Yeah. And we kind of didn't have the, the chance to try this together, because she lives in another accommodation. I wanted to like do some kind of snacks videos together with her, because it's just more fun with uh, two people, but it's kind of difficult if we don't live together, so um, I got some snacks in Don Quixote. I didn't want to buy anything, but now I came back with this whole bag of snacks. 
so I think most of these will last me until at least next month so I'm just gonna do this snack video at the end of this month or at the beginning of next month so I will do that because I just don't have time to do that now because I'm always out with her and yeah we're kind of doing the uh, touristy stuff together of course because it's her first time in Japan and I kind of know my way around the city a little bit especially in Shibuya but I'm not that familiar with Akihabara for example so yeah, it's kind of <laughs> difficult to show her around um, that much in those areas. I think I go to Shibuya and Harajuku very often. Yeah, and because we, it's our first time together after six months, we try to take a lot of photos. I try to vlog, and I also have my camera. We have like, she has her phone, like her iPhone camera. She takes like some selfies with as you saw with this impressing selfie stick but it, it does the job so we can't always ask someone because no it's just faster if we do it ourselves so we have her phone camera then we have her like prof kind of more professional camera then I have my own phone camera my other photographing camera and my um, video camera so I'm telling you it's exhausting <laughs> to do everything like for example if we were at the uh, we were at the Meiji shrine I was taking photos of her and then she was taking photos of me and then I had to take uh, some footage for the video otherwise there will be no footage for video so we were kind of occupied doing all of that stuff so I don't even know how the footage will turn out because because she is staying here for 29, 29 days we don't have that much time because I've been living here for six months now so I have time to explore and go to Shibuya or Harajuku or Akihabara several times but our schedule is jammed, packed. We're like going to Akihabara today and maybe um, Harajuku or Meiji Shrine and then the next day we have like Ikibukuro and then Shinjuku. We have to rush to do everything and to rush to the next destination. So maybe the vlogs will turn out like that too. It's not that relaxed like when I go out with uh, Morena for example because with her I have a lot of time because she's also studying here so we have time to explore but that's not the case now so we're doing the touristy rushed um, exploring kind of thing so that's what we do um, if you haven't noticed I've been trying to cut my daily videos down like to make shorter videos and since I'm always vlogging a whole day I'm always like cutting it kind of in the middle and they make two videos so if you notice that I don't really end my vlog with for example bye then you know there's another part coming because it will get too long like the videos there are videos that are like over 20 over 30 minutes even and that's people don't want to watch those kind of long videos so I'm trying to cut down a little bit and it's also easier to edit because if I edit a long video it takes so much time to look over it again and then correct it and then edit some parts in that I forgot and so on but if it's shorter it's 
much faster to edit and much easier so I'm doing that now so if you see several um, parts sometimes it's a whole day that I split it up so I'm just uh, gonna eat this now I mean I've eaten already and I'm I'm full but it's dessert so dessert is always good it smells familiar like cheap uh, pastries <laughs> it smells like cheap pastries well it was only uh, 138 yen so I got this in 7 11 or a family more I don't even remember it says like kind of mochi mochi pancake with white bean paste So it's kind of mochi pancake with bean paste. It tastes artificial. Mm -hmm. The pancakes are slightly sweetened. But yeah, it kind of tastes it tastes good, but it's like this cheap good, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, it just got to the bean paste. And the bean paste doesn't really taste any different from the normal, like the red bean paste. It's just the like sweet and that pasty texture. But it just tastes sweet. I don't even know whether it tastes like sakura because it says sakura and I think the bean paste I think the bean paste might have some sakura too yeah it seems like they have some kind of uh, sakura flavoring in it. It's good as a snack, but I can't eat too much bean paste because it's it's kind of yeah it's really sweet. Mm, the pancakes are kind of they're kind of chewy but not that like mochi mochi. Chewy doesn't really translate into mochi mochi. It's really different. If you had mochi then you know what I mean. I don't know whether I would buy it again, maybe once in a while, but I wouldn't eat this <laughs> every week. Um, at the beginning I wanted to eat and talk to you guys like this, but it's kind of hard and you don't talk and eat. So yeah, um, tomorrow is another day of exploring Ikebukuro and Shinjuku. So we'll do that. Of course we're going to the Pokemon Center in Ikebukuro. And we wanted to go on the government building in Shinjuku to have like a view um, of Tokyo. So I hope that we will make it this time because the last time I wanted to go it was closed. So I hope I will get some shots of yeah, Tokyo from above. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I didn't even end the vlog yesterday. Yeah, because it's really rushed. So if you don't see me ending this vlog, you know that I come home and then I just fall into bed. So yeah, I hope you will uh, watch my next vlogs. So and if you have watched until now, thank you very much and I will see you the next time. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,